Welcome to the city of The Hague. Place is the heart of where global efforts meet to try and resolve disputes. This is one city that always gives me a little bit of hope that there still remains a collective desire for that. It's always these symbols here in The Hague that serve as a constant reminder that there really is a desire, cohesion on grounds of peace and justice. And this city hosts a lot of stuff to try and rejuvenate that feeling, especially amongst the public. This is like a phrase or wisdom from the Chinese philosophy. By birth, everyone is good by nature. Crossing these roads for Zia is a bit scary because I just don't know where the cycles are coming from. <laughs> and I can't help you. Yeah, <laughs> Sometimes I know. I get confused myself as well. <laughs> yeah, this is what I call local tour guides. <laughs> We're off to the festival, the Writers Unlimited Festival, which has been running strong every year. Winternacht, which means winter nights. During winter nights, you have less activities outside the house, some more inside, so you read and the fireplace. And it's a literature, it's an international literature festival. It's been running for 20, 23 years, and I've been involved in the festival for about 10 years. Almost, you know, I dare to say the only place where different uh, generations, ethnicities, um, of uh, writers, poets, musicians come together. I'm born in the war. I grew up in another war. I ran away from another war. And from here I saw two wars in Iraq. I never wrote anything without experience. And it is a best-selling book now. I think it got translated to English, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't follow my book. You don't follow your book? I think this, uh, his power is in his modesty. This is my passport picture. <laughs> I learn how to be a child to my own whim, which is to say I stand in the way of myself to make my own song. Really moving what I heard. So I'm thinking about the beauty of poetry. Um, it's like taking something fractured and making it more fractured and in those fractures seeing a cohesiveness and I think that's what happens here as well when you think about the fact that we're living in a world where we have to say this is my identity, I'm an Indian woman, I'm a Muslim woman and by saying these things you're claiming your identity but at the same time you're you're illustrating your differences, right? So it's like, it's that nuance of duality that we're trying to figure out and I think that echoes in every art form. Hello. What we're exploring here is in what ways can we make our collective existence make a different kind of uh, em empathetic connection with people. You see an uprising of defining the sense of belonging in terms of uh, being against other groups. And that, that, is, that disturbs me a lot. At the same time, we are more than individuals. We are more than uh, consumption-obsessed uh, entities. We need to be we, us, 
a, a, a collectivity which has no borders, which is not exclusive, but is inclusive, is based on uh, inviting the other. <laughs> My daughter <laughs> in Chinatown. In Chinatown. This is this is what's actually like stopping and starting us. 